Crusaders, welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Zoe Adcock. And I'm Zach Denise, bringing you the news from the 007 studio. The President's Academic Excellence Awards ceremony will be held in the gym at 7 p.m. Students who are invited to this ceremony are to rehearse in the gym during the win period. Congrats to all of these students for achieving academic excellence. If you reserved tickets for prom through Mrs. A but did not pay yet, please make your payment this week. Prom will be held May 7th and the theme is Alice in Wonderland. Speaking of prom, Leon Tailoring is offering a tuxedo special for $112 for any guys who are interested. Seniors, commencement is getting closer with each passing day. Please cast your vote for the John J. Henninger Memorial Award for Christian Service and submit important information for the Generations Awards. You can find links to both of them in a letter from Mr. Thurber that's posted in a Canvas announcement. Please do both by next Monday. Any students interested in the legal profession to take advantage of an honor opportunity to hear a guest speaker. The Honorable Ho Jose Salinas, a judge of the Marion County Superior Court, will speak to Cecina students next Monday during win period. Any students who want to attend can register using a link in the Canvas announcement or during lunch periods. Please register by Thursday. Students, don't forget to collect donations for our Campus Crusade. The student goal is $50. So hit up Cecina alumni you know, your grandparents, neighbors, and family friends our overall school goal is $6,000. That money will go toward tuition assistance, academics, care for our campus, clubs, athletics, and campus ministry. Donations will be accepted before school on May 10th through 12th, the 16th, and the 18th. All money must be turned in by May 18th. The Campus Crusade Walkathon will be held on May 20th. Many incentives are available for those who meet their individual goal. These include multiple drawings for $100 cash and a grand prize for Beats Studio wireless noise canceling headphones. Any students who turn in $100 or more get three entries into the drawings. The winning class gets to lead the Crusade Walkathon, and every member of that class gets an extra entry into the final drawing for the Beats headphones. And if that's not enough, don't worry, there's more. Students and staff who reach their goal can be out of uniform beginning May 16th. Start collecting your money and be ready to have some fun with this year's end of the year celebration. Now to Gabby for today's Crusader Clubs. Thanks, Zach. The archery team will meet tomorrow after school in the cafeteria. The book club will also meet tomorrow after school in the library. April is National Poetry Month, so the club will focus on poetry. All are welcome to attend. That's it for today's club. Back to Zoe and Zach for more news. Thanks, Gabby. Mrs. Drews needs anyone who has borrowed technology items, especially computer chargers, to return them as soon as possible. Not returning the items prevents supporting other users and can result in a fee. Thank you in advance for being responsible about this. Now it's time to see what happened on this day in history. On this day in 1901, New York became the first U.S. state to mandate license plates. Governor Benjamin Odell Jr. signed a law ordering automobiles and motorcycles to display plates that identified the owners of the vehicles. On this day in 1959, the St. Lawrence Seaway officially opened. This waterway linked the Atlantic Ocean with the Great Lakes, and it was one of the largest civil engineering feats ever undertaken. On this day in 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope was placed into operation by the crew of the space shuttle Discovery. Hubble was a sophisticated optical observatory built in the United States under the supervision of NASA. Now look at the wisdom for the Bible with our verses of the day. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 18 and 19, Peter wrote, you know that is was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. We often judge something's value by the price we pay to get it. We can see our worth by the price God paid to redeem us from sin. He sent his only son to die a brutal death on the cross to restore us to a right relationship with him. We must be worth a lot. Now let's head over to Liam for today's Crusader Sports. Thanks, Zoe. On Friday, the softball team lost home to Bishop Chittard. The team is now 2-4 and four on the season. On Saturday, the baseball team lost at Heritage Christian. The team is now 5-4 and four on the season and 4-0 and zero in conference. There is no sports events tonight. That's it for today's sports. Back to Zoe and Zach for more news. Thanks, Liam. Now for our lunch menu the next couple of days. Tomorrow, we'll have a chicken quesadilla with corn. On Wednesday, it'll be cheeseburger mac with broccoli. Please remember that all menu items are subject to change based on availability. The Purdue School of Engineering and Technology, IUPUI, is offering summer camps from June 21st through the 24th for high school students. Check out the link in the Canvas announcement for more info or to register. 
Mrs. Rossworm and Mr. Getty are planning another trip to Europe. The Spring Break 2024 trip will include stops in Berlin, Prague, and Munich. Those who attend will head to sites like Checkpoint Charlie in Berlin, complete a Prague city walk, and even tour Dachau concentration camp and memorial. This trip is school-sponsored and handbook rules apply. Interested students should plan to come to an information meeting on May 3rd at 6 p.m. in the library. Please bring a guardian with you. Sign up for this is just $50 by May 10th. Now to Maria for a look at our weather forecast. Thanks, Zach. After summer-like temperatures over the weekend, it's back to reality today with a high of 60 and a low of 37. Rain and storms are likely through early afternoon today. We'll see highs in the upper 50s the next couple of days, but we still have partly sunny skies now. Back to Zoe and Zach for more news. Thanks, Maria. Now see you celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday! Our subscriber challenge continues, Crusaders. We will pie another staff member when we reach 432. As of this morning, we have 430. We only need two more. We also want to hit 450 by the end of the school year so we can host our spicy food challenge. So please keep the subscriptions coming. That's it for today's news. Stay classy, give a little extra, and please subscribe to our channel.